What's up, body bags? Andrew here. I'm your Saturday host. Welcome to Saturday and welcome to Creature Feature Week uh, here on the channel. Um, you've seen some uh, pretty pretty entertaining reviews here uh, this this past week. So uh, for this one here, I decided to go old school, go OG. So I'm doing the uh, original creature from the Black Lagoon, and I'm showing a postcard of it essentially because I have the um, the Universal box set here so I'm just going to show this just to be um, so that I'm not holding up all eight films the whole time um, <clears throat> yeah so essentially the plot of this film is fairly simple it's actually it actually very much reminds me of Anaconda what by the way this was a first time watch for me so um, it was interesting to see uh, my thoughts on it this first time around. I've actually been going through some of the Universal films this, this past week. But essentially, this film takes place with a, like an expedition team. They go to this uh, lagoon and to go, uh, they, they have a creature that they think they can, or uh, something they think they can find. It's not really a creature. They just think that there's something there interesting. So they go to it to explore it, um, to maybe see if there's anything interesting there. And they discover this creature, which is like, you know, they think it's like very human-like, but it's also amphibious. So it's it would be the find of the century. It would be, it would be a, an, uh, uh, an, a great evolutionary discovery. And so... I'll just leave the plot it there. I'm, I'm sure. I, I don't know if most of you have seen this. Actually, like Universal films and like uh, those uh, Hammer films are very, you know, uh, missed for me. I don't really. I don't really. Honestly, most of them haven't been that interesting to me. Like uh, Dracula was awesome for the first like 30 minutes, and then it just kind of got bogged down there for like 40 minutes, and then came back strong at the end. It, it just it felt very. I don't know. The pacings are off on the films. They just don't. They the drama isn't as interesting. The characters aren't as interesting. Um, the writing is, you know, that it probably has to do with the writing. This one to me, though, the pacing was super fast. Like I was never bored in this film, and I, I just uh, kudos to whoever you know, whoever was directing and writing this, because man, it was it was pretty good. It was really solid. They had some really good. Um, the effects were really good in this film. Never saw a scene where I was like, oh, those effects look dated or anything like that. So, again, great great stuff on that on that end. Um, yeah, it was, uh, the cinematography was great. The acting was great. The um, Everything I thought was, was really good. It was really good stuff. Um, this... Um, they had kind of more your stereotypical stereotypical characters in the film. Like they had this guy whom you could tell was pretty much going to be the villain. Like, well, what would be the the John Voight character from Anaconda um, in this? So you know, it's it's one of those things where it was like, ah, eh, you know, I could uh, I could tell those coming. But overall, I still had a really good time with it. And honestly, this film was really ahead of its time. The first Universal film that actually, when my brother gets to watching this, Austin, I feel like you will actually like this one. This is one of those ones that I think the pacing's good. Um, it does very much remind me of Jeepers Creepers, and I know that because um, the writer director uh, is actually had a huge. Uh, this is actually his favorite film growing up, and this was like his main inspiration for the Creepers. So. Um, yeah, I just I was like oh, I could definitely see the similarities, and it was it had a lot of intense atmosphere to it. So I was good good on that. So my official score is going to be an eight out of ten. Never was like blown away by anything, but I had a really good time with it. It was it was really enjoyable. I highly recommend to anybody who's into horror films. It's just classics, uh, good stuff. All right, that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll catch you again next week. It's back to random next week, so peace, guys.